How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's Build Showcase showing this 2020 Chevy Tahoe for the Cresco Police Department. How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're checking out today is this 2020 Chevy Tahoe for the Cresco Police Department. This is going to be a slick top version. Uh, we've utilized a mixture of new equipment along with existing equipment from a vehicle that was totaled. Starting up front, we have a tricolor interior light bar with the white override. As you can see, we have the red and blue flashing at this time. We have the Weston Elite push bumper along with two sound off signal tricolors with the white override, two sound off signal M powers tricolor with the white override, and then we have sound off signal N forces on both sides with the white override feature also that gives them additional alley lights, especially with it being a slick top. Uh, we've got their 100 N speakers mounted to the top. Vehicle has a headlight flasher installed that's currently, currently on Park Hill. As you can see, the graphics package on this, this is a, a slick top stealth car. So we've blacked out their patch. We've done black graphics down the rest of the side to match their existing fleet. Uh, underneath the mirror, we have the uh, Tahoe under mirror bracket with the surface mount intersector mounted onto it. We have sound off signal M powers with tricolor. And then we have sound off signal N forces tricolor in the side window. Um, all the lights have the white override feature. So when they hit their left alley, the whole white of the car will go up and it allows them to give them additional scene lighting at night looking for mailboxes or lighting up a scene. Checking out the back window we have two dual N forces in dual color and a red blue combination. Uh, we're flashing the parking lights via our blueprint control system. We replaced our reverse lights with an LED bulb and we're flashing that with blueprint and then we have four inch sound off signal M powers in tricolor on the back bumper with the white override feature. Um, replacing the reverse lights and the white allows us to uh, give them additional scene functions like we do with the front and rear, additional reverse lights and then uh, we have control over it through the OBD2 port. So one thing you'll notice with when the hatch opens, we shut our rear window lights off to prevent any flashback down into the area. Uh, we have Technique four inch dual color red white lights. And then we have a scene light switch on the side there that control them. Um, these shut off when the hatch closes so that way that uh, they don't leave the switch accidentally on and they're blinding themselves at night. We repurposed this uh, law enforcement cabinet from one of the previous vehicles that was totaled. So we cleaned it up for them, um, spruced everything up before it was put back into the vehicle. Uh, we, it's got a command drawer. And then we have our weapon storage drawer with our foam insert. So taking a look at the prisoner transport area, we've got uh, poly window guards, we've got the slip cover door panels, we have our single cell partition with our uh, plastic divider in the middle, and they've opted to leave the factory seat in place. So taking a look at the front area, uh, we've got a Havis laptop dock with the, the mount. Uh, we've got a Havis uh, wide body console with their radios, their scanner installed, the blueprint controller. Uh, we've got their flashlight mounted to the side here. And then what we've also done for their radios is we've installed the speakers up to the headliner here to uh, give them better projection of the speaker. Okay, so now we have the vehicle in uh, drive um, to simulate uh, in a response mode. You can see that we've activated our headlight flasher. Our interior light bar pattern's been a little bit more aggressive. Then we've added the flashing white to the side view mirror lights. So looking at the features of the vehicle, we have our takedown feature for full front flood. And then we have our left alley feature to light up the left side of the vehicle. And then our right alley feature to light up the right side. Thanks for checking out our build showcase this week. If you have any questions about this vehicle or about a build that we can do for you, please give us a call, shoot us an email, or uh, direct message us on our social media.